Hi, Jeremy. I have your 6139 here. And if I sound, by the way, if I sound all stuffed up and gluey, it's because uh, terrible allergies. Uh, they're getting worse. Okay, your watch. It's, um, generally speaking, I think it's quite nice. Uh, the movement looks good. Somebody has been inside, and they've done a few... Well, they've done at least one thing. This capsule has been lubricated. So somebody tried to make it a little better. But... Just one lubrication of a cap jewel does not a servicing make. So, let's talk the numbers. The rest of it is running like an original unserviced movement does. Beat error, and you see the, the wildly up and down on the amplitude. That's, I mean, real typical. Real typical. The movement needs service, but it looks good. I mean, it looks good. Case is original, movement looks good, it's bright, it needs servicing. Uh, the only functional thing I see is I'm definitely getting a little bit of movement on the, the lower port of the mainspring arbor. Not a lot. A little. It might be decent. I'll need to look at it and, and see. And see for sure. A little bit of movement. Not a lot. Let's talk cosmetics. I see you've got it on one of Larry's Uncle Seiko Solid Link bracelets. And there that is. He's a buddy of mine. Cosmetically, the watch is nice. Nice. Look at the white loom. Bright white loom. Clean dial surface. Slight bit of fading in the indicator ring. Nothing bad. You'd asked about the case. Dude, honestly, this is a nice case. Nice top brushing. I mean, clean transitions on the case edges. I wouldn't do anything to this. There are no... There's nothing deadly on here. Nothing I would think about at all. I would be proud to own this case and wear it just like it is. You'd be, you'd be amazed. When this thing is cleaned up, you will be pleased. Um, the only thing we talked about is the, the lower hand color. Hang on. No, I'm sorry, the sweep hand color. Yeah, because this is the lighter tomato red for the blue. This is the darker crimson for the gold dials. I can see if I have a tomato red. Bizarrely, the tomato red ones are harder to find. I have a fair amount of these red ones, the dark red ones, but the tomato red, they're a little harder to come by. But I'll see what I've got. We can maybe trade. If I've got a tomato red, you could maybe trade this hand in. I can use that hand. But we'll see. The rest of the watch is nice. It's a nice watch. Cleaning, servicing, poof, it'll be nice. If you don't want to service it, you don't have to. Uh, it's massively out of adjustment, however, and the amplitude is definitely low. It's a good watch. I always say, when it comes to Seiko, or any watch really, is you buy for cosmetics first. Cosmetics are what matter. Don't buy a rough watch that runs okay, or a rough watch that doesn't run okay. Buy a beautiful watch that needs servicing. Um, and because then you'll you'll really get the best of both worlds. I'd say it's a good watch though. Okay. You let me know what you want done. Thank you.